We're coming to you live from Detroit Rock City at Gord Field, where it's an absolute free-for-all. The stakes is high, and so am I. It's in the air tonight, Grim. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Midway Mutants battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pop? Third down and, well, good luck. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Did you ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> time like a jack-in-the-box bricks you never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow you just crap your pants junior and it's first and ten good throw good catch but not quite good enough at nine yards And that'll bring up second and one. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on the the offense was going to be explosive this week. He meant it literally. <laughs> First down in a mile. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. Second down in a lot. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. 
There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was... Hmm, I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned MFL rule. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It's good. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. Ballsy. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down, so now they have to punt. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. needs a miracle. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Now here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that... Uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a sonic first down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback 
threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll be second down and four. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And that'll be second down and four. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First and ten. I personally think that the ginormous got alignment swants the ball away with those meaty paws. What? It looks so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. Second down and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Nah, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up third and one. <laughs> and Chainsaw's really have a way of extending the red zone. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I am fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. This kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down and four. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third and four. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Picks up 
ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's a defense, schmuck. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. <laughs> that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. With a brutal hit. And that'll be second down and four. He had it for a second there. Third and four. points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay and that was a bone crusher right there folks and it's first and ten Seven yards on that play. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Second and three. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a conference home. And it's first and ten. 
So much money. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. <laughs> and he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. I missed it, man. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hub. Why did he leave, Bricks? Well, people kept dipping their chips in him. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. When defensive players go berserk, if the quarterback has had enough and calls a murder, and he's going to the races. Look at, oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, I got a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard. First and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten.
I hope you covered your ears, Brick. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and ten. up five on that play. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. Third and two. Man, what a hit that was. Soft balls, 
He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you're mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. Third down and long. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. three and it's anyone's game hang on tight the fourth quarter is about to begin and it's first and ten they're taking what the defense has given them that's a four-yard gain on the reception hey less than a wipe for the headache second down and six You idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. position in football the mighty punter and he put all of his foot into that one nice catch and he turns on the afterburners punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitors tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face and the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. He was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Get 
reminded of Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a oh, nice hit. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Seven. Well, as it and like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Sounds they'll have to regroup during this timeout. And it's first and ten. into the 
their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first, and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. for the extra point. It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. And the defense gives up five yards there. First and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves paying. First down. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And it's first and ten. It's last time out. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a timeout into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. warming up and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well-placed cleat they stump the clock with their first time out leaving them with two in case they need them yeah just like condoms hatchets and wives huh Grim? you know you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work bricks And the kick is good! Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several... The Maniacs deliver a bloody win for the Motor City. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, oh, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.